Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this little girl's bolero or cardigan. So this bolero can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your cardigan you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop. And then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook. So take your hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. So once knot. you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we are going to chain 57. So chain 1, 2 three, four, five, six, all the way up to 57. So I have finished making my foundation chain and we are now ready to move on to round one of our cardigan. So we are now on to round one and round one is a simple round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into each chain along our foundation chain. And we're going to work our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second. And into this chain we're going to do our first double crochet. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain. So now yarn over and go into the next chain and do one double crochet into this one. Then do one into the next and one into the next and continue this all the way along for round one. One double crochet into each and every chain. So I am just coming to the end of round one. So I have done double crochets all the way along and I have one last chain to work into and into this last chain I'm going to do a final double crochet. But whilst doing this last double crochet I am also going to change colours. So next round, round two, is going to be a patterned round and I want that round to be in a different colour. So I'm going to change colours now at the end of round one and then I will have that new colour ready to use for round two. But if you do not want round two to be in a different colour, then just work one double crochet into this last chain as usual and then move on to your next round using the same colour as you were using before. But if you do want to change, then I will show you how to so do to that So to change colours, we're going to start off by just working a double crochet as we normally would. So yarn over, go into the chain, pull up a loop and then pull through two loops. But then right before this last step here, usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops here. What we're going to do is we are going to drop the yarn that we are using and then take our new colour. So I'm going with a cream and you want to place this over the end of your hook and pull this through. So there we have completed the double crochet and the round and changed colours at the same time. 
So now you can fasten off, so cut the yarn that you were using. So I'm going to cut the pink and make sure that you leave a tail to weave in later. So cut this yarn and now we're ready to move on to round two. So we are two. now on to round two. And to begin this round, you want to chain two. So chain one and two and turn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to skip this first stitch here. So we're going to skip this very first one and then into the next chain or the next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we have chain two and turned, skipped the first stitch, then into the next one, do two half double crochets. So to do a half double crochet, yarn over and go into the stitch, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. So there we have one half double crochet and now yarn over, go down into the same stitch for a second time and do a second one like that. And now you want to chain one and skip the next stitch. Then into the next one, we're going to do two half double crochets. So chain one, skip the next stitch, then do two half double crochets, both into the next stitch, like that. Then chain one and skip the next stitch and do two half double crochets into the next one. So there's one and then there's two and we're going to repeat this all the way along. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and do two half double crochets into the next one. Then chain one, skip the next stitch, do two half double crochets into the next one and repeat this again and again and again all the way along for round two. So I have chained one, so I'm going to skip this stitch and do two half double crochets both into the next one. Then I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch and do two half double crochets both into the next and continue this all the way so along. So I'm just coming to the end of round two. So I'm on my very last set. So I have chained one, skip this next stitch and then into this very last stitch at the end, we're going to do two last half double crochets. So go into the stitch at the end here and work one half double crochet. And then whilst working this second one, I'm going to change colors back to the color I was using before. So I just want this one round to be in a different color. So I'm going to change back to the pink and I'm going to do that whilst doing this last half double crochet. So yarn over and go into the stitch and pull up a loop. But then usually we would yarn over and pull through these three loops here. But you want to drop the yarn that you are using and take your colour. So I'm going back with the pink colour. So I'm going to take this yarn here. Then place this over the end of your hook and pull this through. And now we have finished the round and the half double crochet and changed colours again. So now you can cut the yarn that you were using. So I'm going to cut the cream, making sure that I leave a tail or an end to weave in later. And we're ready to move on to round three. So we are three. now on to round three. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round three is just another round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch along. So you want to start off by yarning over and going down into this very first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch. So go down into this very first one and do one double crochet. Then yarn over 
and go into the next stitch and do one double crochet into this one as well and then you want to go into the chain space so the chain one and do one double crochet into this space and then go into the next stitch and do one double crochet into this stitch then do one double crochet into the next stitch and then do one double crochet into the chain space and continue this all the way along so you're going into the first half double crochet then the second half double crochet then the chain space then the half double crochet, half double crochet, chain space, half double crochet, half double crochet, chain space, all the way along. So you're working one double crochet into each stitch. So I'm doing half double crochet, half double crochet, chain space, all the way along for round three. So I am just coming to the end of round three. So I have done one double crochet into each of these stitches here. And then to finish off the round, we're going to go into this very last chain space at the end. And we're going to work one last double crochet like that. And now we are ready to move on to round so four. So we are now on to round four. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now in round four, we're going to do one double crochet into one stitch, but then two double crochets both into the next one. Then one into the next, two into the next, one into the next, two into the next, all the way along. So to start off, you want to yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here as our chain one does not count as a stitch and do one double crochet and then you want to go into the next stitch here and go into this stitch and do two double crochets so there we have one and go back down into the same stitch again and do a second one so there we have one double crochet, two double crochets. So now go into the next stitch and do one double crochet. And then into the next one, do two double crochets both into this stitch. Like that. And repeat this all the way along. One, two, one, two, one, two. So I have just come to the end of round four and at the very end of the round you should find that you work two double crochets into the last stitch. So as we started off by working one double crochet into the first stitch, you should finish by working two double crochets both into the last one. And at the end of this round you should have 126 stitches across so you should have worked 126 double crochets and I would recommend going back and just counting your stitches and making sure that you have the right number and if you do so you should have 126 we are ready to move on to round so we are now five. on to round five of our cardigan and for each of the next two rounds so for rounds five and six we are going to do the exact same thing and in each of those rounds we are just going to do one double crochet into each stitch along so for round five, we're going to chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into each stitch along 
and then we're going to do the same thing for round six. Chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into every single stitch along. So we're doing two rounds of one double crochet into each stitch. And in each of those rounds, you should work 126 double crochets. So we have finished increasing. So in each of those rounds, round five and six, you should just work 126 double crochets in each round. So we're going to start off with our first round, round five. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. Then yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here. So go down into the stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch. And one into the next. And one into the next. And do this all the way along to the very end. And then when you get to the end of the round, chain one and turn and go all the way back, working one double crochet into each stitch. So do that for two rounds. So I have just finished working that all the way along for those two rounds. So I have come to the end of round six. And at the end of this round, I would recommend that you just go back and double check that you still have 126 stitches along. So the next round of our cardigan is a really important round. So you need to make sure that you have the right number of stitches at this point. So just go back and check that you have the right number. And if you do, we are ready to move on to round seven. So we are seven. now on to round seven of our cardigan. And in this round, we are going to turn our big loop, which we have here, into a cardigan shape. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to work along a certain number of stitches for the first half of the front of our cardigan. We are then going to skip a certain number of stitches for the first armhole. We're then going to work along a certain number of stitches for the back skip another number of stitches for the other armhole and then work along another number of stitches for the other half of the front. And that is how we are going to add in the shape in round seven. So we're going to add in a front, a back and two so armholes. So to begin this round, you want to start off by chaining one and turning. So chain one and turn. So we're going to start off by working the first half of the front of the cardigan and the first half of the front is 18 stitches long. So we need to work 18 double crochets. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next one like that. Then do a third one and do this until you have 18. So I have just finished working those 18 double crochets for the first half of the front of the cardigan. And now we are moving on to the first armhole. And for this armhole, we're just going to skip 27 stitches. So you want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 27. So here is my 27th stitch and I'm going to skip this one and then move on to the next stitch, so the one directly after the 27th one. So this would be the 28th one along. And into this stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. So yarn over and go into the stitch. So this is the 28th one along, the one just after the last one that we are skipping. And then pull up a loop and kind of pull your work together and work one double crochet. And there you can see we have created our first armhole. And I would recommend going back and just double checking that you did skip 27. So I'm just going to so do I that So I have now. gone back and checked and I have skipped 27 stitches. So now we are moving on to the back. 
and the back of our cardigan is 36 double crochets long. So we need to work 36 double crochets for the back. So this stitch that we have just worked here counts as our first double crochet of the back. So now yarn over and go into the next stitch and work your second one. Then work a third, a fourth, all the way up to 36. So I have finished working those 36 stitches for the back and now we are ready to move on to the first armhole. And for this armhole we are just going to do the exact same thing as we did for the other side. We are just going to skip 27 stitches. So count 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way up to 27. So here is my 27th stitch and I am going to skip this one yarn over and go into the next stitch so this would be the 28th one along and work one double crochet and I like to kind of pull my work together like this so that I get a nice tight double crochet and there we have done the next armhole and now we are moving on to the other half of the front and for this half you just want to work one double crochet into the rest of the stitches so that should be 18 in total so we have done one double crochet so now we need to work a second one then a third and do this all the way so along. So I have just come to the end of that round and I ended up working 18 double crochets for the other half and there you can see we have finished round seven and we have added in the shape of our cardigan. So we have a front, a back and two armholes. And now we are moving on to round eight. So we are eight. now on to round eight of our cardigan. And to begin this round you want to chain one and turn. And now round eight is a very simple round of double crochet. We are just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch along. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch and one into the next. And do this all the way around, one double crochet into each stitch. And you should find that this round goes a lot um, quicker than the other rounds before as we have cut out a significant number of stitches in the armholes. So this one should go a little and bit quicker. And in this round, when you get to the armholes, you just want to go straight across. So just continue working your double crochets straight across. You do not go up into the armholes. We have finished working the sleeves. So we have these little cap sleeves which are finished. We just have to add the border onto them and we'll do that at the very end. So for this round just go straight across the armholes and continue to do one double crochet into each so stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way along for that round. So I have worked one double crochet into this very last stitch here. And there we have finished round eight and we are ready to move on to the next round. So we are now on to round nine of our bolero or our cardigan. And for the rest of the length of our cardigan, we are just going to repeat round eight, so the round that we just did, again and again and again. So you just want to keep repeating rounds of one double crochet into each stitch, so the round that we just did, again and again until you feel that your cardigan is long enough. So for my cardigan here, so for this hot pink one I did here, I wanted to make just a little bolero, so I just did one more repeat. So I did round eight and then I just did one more repeat for round nine. But you could do two repeats, three repeats, four repeats. You could make a little bolero or a three quarter length cardigan or a full length cardigan. It is completely up to you. But just keep repeating that round again and again and again. So to begin every single round you want to chain one and turn 
and then work one double crochet into the first stitch and then work one double crochet into every single stitch around and then when you come to the end of that round chain one and turn again and do one double crochet into each stitch and keep doing that until your cardigan is long enough and for this one here I am going to do a teeny tiny little bolero so I am not going to work any more rounds I am happy with the length that this one is so I am now going to fasten off so once you have your cardigan to the length that you want it you can fasten off so pull your yarn out and your hook and then cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in or work over later so I'm just going to cut a tail and then pull this through and then you can weave all of your ends into the inside of your bolero or your cardigan so using a yarn needle weave all of your ends into the inside and then we can add the border and I would recommend weaving all of the ends into the inside before you add the border as it makes it a little bit more tricky if you have ends sticking out but for the sake of this tutorial I am just going to move straight on to the border when you are doing your cardigan I would strongly recommend weaving your ends in so first so we're now on to the border of our cardigan and you can add whatever border you like you could just do a plain single crochet border or a slip stitch border or a shell stitch border it's up to you but I'm going to show you how to do this really cute bobble border so it's really easy to do but looks really cute and very different so I'm going to show you how to do that now so to start off you want to take your cardigan or your bolero and you want to turn it inside out so turn your cardigan inside out so here mine is the wrong way around now and you want to insert your hook into any stitch along the bottom of the back so you can go into any stitch that you like as long as it is at the bottom of the back so I am just going to go into this one here and then you want to take your yarn so this is the yarn that you were going to be doing your border in so I'm going with a grey so for my other cardigan I did the border and the patterned row in the same colour but for this one I'm just going to go with a grey as I think that will be easy to demonstrate so we have inserted in. our hook into the stitch you then want to take your new yarn place it over the end of your hook and pull it through and then you want to chain one so take the yarn and chain one and there we have attached our new yarn to our work so now for the bobble border what we're going to do is we are going to start off by doing a triple crochet into this first stitch here so into the stitch that we attached our yarn into so to do a triple crochet you want to yarn over twice then insert your hook into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook so there we have one triple crochet so it's a very long stitch and now we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet so to do a single crochet insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops and you should find when you do that single crochet your triple crochet kind of bends over and creates the little bubble and now you want to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet into this one as well so there we have done triple crochet single crochet single crochet and we're going to repeat that all the way around for our border so the border is very simple you just do triple crochet single crochet single crochet triple crochet single crochet single crochet all the way around so yarn over twice go into the next stitch and do a triple crochet like that then do a single crochet into the next stitch 
and a single crochet into the next one. Then do a triple crochet into the next stitch. Then a single crochet and a single crochet. And keep doing this all the way along until you get to your very first corner. So keep doing triple crochet, single crochet, single crochet until you get to the corner. So I have here. worked all the way along and then just stop right before you get to the corner. So you may stop on a triple crochet or a single crochet, it doesn't matter. And then into this very corner stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to work three single crochets. So go into the corner and do one single crochet, then do a second one, and then go back into the same stitch and do a third one. And by doing those three stitches all into the corner, that gives us a nice neat right angle or a nice neat corner. And now we can just continue on with our pattern of triple crochet, single crochet, single crochet, all the way up the side. And we're working into the side of the stitches here. So you just want to evenly space your stitches out. So kind of do one or two stitches into the side of every single stitch. So I'm going to start off with a triple crochet into the side of this one. So go into the side and do a triple. Then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next one and a single crochet into the next one. So just work your stitches evenly up the side. And then when you get to the next corner, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do three single crochets into the corner. So three single crochets all into the corner space. Then work your pattern all the way around the top. Then when you get to the next corner, do three single crochets into this corner. Then work your pattern all the way down. Do three single crochets in the bottom corner. So we have four corners in total. And then continue your pattern all the way around to where you started. And then finish off by working a slip stitch into the first triple crochet that you worked and fasten off and then weave all of your ends into the inside of your cardigan. And then you want to go to the armholes and you want to do your pattern around the armholes. So you can see just like I have done here. So you do the same thing, attach your yarn and I would attach it to the back of your work and then go all the way around, triple, single, single, triple, single, single, and then finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first stitch that you worked. And there we will have finished our cardigan. And if you like, you could attach one or two buttons at the top of your cardigan and then use the spaces between the stitches on the opposite side as buttonholes, or you could make a button loop. So to make a button loop, just insert your hook into the top corner here and then chain as long as you like for however big your button is and then make a slip stitch back into the same stitch that you attached your yarn into and then fasten off and weave the end into the work. And that will create a button loop. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.